Hi everyone, I hope you're doing very well. My name is Juan and welcome back to another book review. So today we're going to talk about the amazing novella Daisy Miller by the American writer Henry James. And if you appreciate my reviews and would like to show your support, please give this review a like and subscribe to my channel. That way this video will get to more people who might also enjoy it. Thanks. Okay, so let's talk about Daisy Miller, which was first published in 1877. I know that what I am about to say is perhaps too facile, but please don't at me. <laughs> I have read a few novels by Henry James, probably not enough, but I think of him as the author who writes stories about rich Americans in Europe. I know that other authors have written about wealthy Americans who live or um, travel to Europe, but that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think about Henry James. And Daisy Miller is indeed a novella about rich Americans who live in or travel to Europe. Okay, just for context, in the late 19th century, it was fashionable for wealthy American families to make a grand tour of Europe. So it wasn't unusual to have rich Americans spending time in England, France, Italy, Switzerland, and other European countries. I think Daisy Miller uh, shows what Henry James thought about his compatriots. James spent a lot of time in Europe, mostly in England and France, years even, and I think it is agreed that he preferred Europe and Europeans generally to Americans. So his portrayal of one of the novella's protagonists, Daisy, as someone who is provincial and who lacks the right social skills probably corresponds to what Henry James thought about his fellow Americans who took the grand tour and traveled around Europe. Henry James seems more sympathetic to his novella's other protagonist, Winterbourne, an American who has been living in Europe for a long time, just as he did. So in the novella, Daisy is traveling around the continent with her younger brother and their mother. But the story is told from the point of view of Winterbourne, a rich American man who lives in Geneva. Winterbourne is charmed by Daisy, but also mystified by her behavior. You see, compared to the upper-class European girls he's used to, Daisy seems a little bit too spontaneous, if you know what I mean. And I think it's fun to read about this dated cultural differences between Americans and Europeans, you know, which is one of the reasons I love this novella. Anyway, at some point in the story, Daisy becomes involved in some low-intensity social scandal within the American community in Rome. But is she just misunderstood by the wealthy expats? Well, you have to read the book to make up your mind about that. And by the way, I link to the books I review in the description box for each video, so you can buy your copy of Daisy Miller at no extra cost and support my channel, which would be awesome. Daisy Miller is a great story about gossip that is in itself also a great piece of gossip. In fact, Henry James was inspired to write this story by some gossip he heard when he was in Rome. So gossip plays a big role in this story. Someone's reputation can be ruined or at least tainted by a rumor. And so if you would like to read something short about rich Americans living in Europe and how a newcomer from the States upsets their morals, I think you should read Daisy Miller. Anyway, revisiting this novella and thinking about Henry James while I was preparing this review has made me want to go back and read a lot more uh, of his work, including rereading what I have already read by him. So if you have any recommendations of books by Henry James that you would like me to read and review here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below or contact me on social media at Bookish Islander. And well, I think this is all I can say about Daisy Miller without spoiling it for people who have not read it yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to summarize the plot and talk about Daisy Miller in more detail. And there will be some spoilers. So you have been warned, if you don't want to hear any spoilers about Daisy Miller, you should stop watching this video uh, right about now. And I will see you again very soon, I hope, for another video. Okay, for those of you who are still here, I am now going to summarize the plot and share more thoughts I had on Daisy Miller, okay? So the story opens when an American, a young American man named Winterborn meets an American girl named Daisy Miller in a Swiss resort. Daisy, her younger brother Randolph, and their mother are traveling around Europe. To Winterborn, who despite being American has mostly lived in Europe, Daisy seems 
a lot more spontaneous and even maybe a tiny bit vulgar compared to the European girls of his acquaintance. However, he's also charmed by her. So Winterborn and Daisy spend some time together at their resort alone because the man's aunt Mrs. Costello dislikes the Millers and she snubs the girl so she never meets her. In winter, Winterborn goes south to Rhone because he knows that Daisy will be in town. Mrs. Costello tells him that Daisy has earned herself a bad reputation because she is friends uh, with fortune hunters, particularly a local man named Mr. Giovanelli. The American community in Rome is scandalized by this behavior from one of their own. The American socialite Mrs. Walker and Winterborn try to talk some sense into Daisy. They want to make her see that she's damaging her reputation, but she would not listen to them. So uh, Winterborn then begins to doubt Daisy. Maybe she's not the kind of girl uh, he thought she was. Her behavior confuses him as well and he doesn't even know what the nature of her relationship with that Italian man is because sometimes she says they're engaged and then other times she says that they are not. So he's really confused. One night Winterborn happens on Daisy and Mr. Giovanelli at the Coliseum. There and then he'll decide that she's not worth it. That night Daisy catches malaria and a few days later she dies. But before dying, she leaves a message for Winterborn saying that in fact she cared about what he thought of her. Winterborn gets the note but doesn't really understand it at the time. A year later, he tells Mrs. Costello that he made a big mistake and he decides to go back to Geneva even though he also says that he has spent too much time in Europe. Such a sad ending. So, okay, what do you think? Is Daisy innocent or not? Is it even a crime to spend time with a man? Um, the worst thing that we know that she ever did was being outdoors for too long, which is why she got malaria. But what about her character? Was she uh, such a bad character? Was the scandal justified? I would say it doesn't really matter. I think what matters to me is how Winterborn is so repressed in this story, how he spends so much of his time worrying about this girl and her reputation and trying to save her, doesn't he see that he's missing out? It sounds like Daisy lived her life and had more fun than Winterborn would ever let himself do. But what do you think? Please let me know your thoughts if you have read Daisy Miller. And if you haven't read it yet, let me know what you think of my review. And if you think uh, now that you've watched my review, uh, you will read the novella. Okay, and if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends on social media. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Burkish Islander so we can talk about books on other platforms too. This is all from me. I hope to see you again very soon for another book review or bookish video. Bye for now.